Hey y'all, that's Eliza. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today playing The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, and it is 3.32 in the morning. A very cold, windy, miserable day, but Naomi is sleeping soundly in her brand new shelter, which we built for her in the last episode. Looks like her potato plant is doing well, even though she's not actually been able to enjoy any of the fruits of her gardening because somebody <coughs> can go keep stealing the potatoes before we can get to them. Looks like uh, she can evolve the plant, except she doesn't have the skill to do that. So um, let me see if I can get that improved once she wakes up. I'm going to go ahead and speed through to the morning. I think we do have work. Oh no, we don't have work today. So that lets us uh, spend a little time working on our skills, maybe uh, getting her a little further along in some of her aspiration needs. <laughs> Unfortunately, poor uh, Naomi is still freaked out because um, at the end of the last episode, we m had a nice little visit from the repo man as a consequence of her not paying her bills for several days. She'll wake up, she will face the reality that uh, some of her things have been taken away, and then then she'll be fine. Um, but actually, it turns out that most of what the Repo Man took were uh, just fixtures on these buildings, which she plans to demolish anyway as soon as she possibly can. So I just filled these back in with um, sort of blank uh, windows and open doors to represent, you know, where they took away, um, you know, they took away the doors, they took away some, I'm sure they took away like all the copper pipes, you know, so that's why it looks really funny. I don't think we will do that again if we can possibly avoid it. Let's have her have some cereal and change into something warm. Yeah, okay, so she got eight potatoes off of one plant. We'll sell these five. So now, um, she needs fun, but I think we can find that out of the house. Um, oh, I don't know if you noticed, but okay, so yesterday, when I bought her a mural so she can complete her political task, which is to paint a um, mural, I guess, I forget what what cause this represents, but um, obviously something environmental. Anyhow, so I um, went into build mode and um, got rid of all of the ivy that I had set uh, on this side of this building. Um, you know, so in game, it's just like she pulled it all off with her hands and, you know, um, there wouldn't have been a cost associated with that in either direction. But when I deleted it, it refunded us back some of the money. And it was quite a lot of money. Um, so I removed that today and <laughs> she had 20 simoleons left over and then she just got 15 for her potatoes. So she is a bit low on funds and it's two days till she gets a paycheck. So, um, that's even more reason why we definitely need to get her um, some collectibles and fossils. Now, I'm still not sure how much I want her to care about her fame, but I think we can justify her starting a Simstagram account at least because she's in politics now and as you know, um, successfully promoting her cause, um, you know, that's something that she can do part of that work on social media and having a really good, um, social media profile, reputation online, um, that's all part of being a modern, uh, politician. Hmm. So she doesn't have an exercise. Let's, I guess we can have her go for a quick jog. That will really uh, make her feel better. And I am a little worried because she started to slip yesterday, but I think that was just during um, the heavy snow. She should be fine, right? 
let's see. So it's nine. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so it's nine in the morning. Uh, so there's some people out. As soon as she's had a little bit of a run, I'm gonna go ahead and have her. It's like, okay, so maybe she's jogging to, just walk through the car. Maybe she's jogging to the, um, the metro or the elevated train or something. I, huh, their jogging path kind of has them um, running through solid objects, which is fine. Sims are weird. Okay, so she's going to hop on public transit, which obviously doesn't exist, and we're going to head over to Oasis Springs. Oh wow, this is very... Oh well, it is winter, of course. Um, I was going to say, this is really not Oasis Springs weather, but I think it is for winter. Rain. At least it's not freezing. It's cool though. Okay. So, it's going to take a little while before rocks and frogs start to pop out. So, I'm going to go ahead and have her fish for a little bit. I guess she could start looking for frogs, but let's, let's see if we can't catch a couple of fish, because that would really help um, give her some quick money. And we'll see who shows up. There's Talia and I forget this guy's name. He's moving too fast. Oh, Khaled. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I, I mean, I've met them obviously, but I don't know them terribly well yet. Mm, she doesn't like being rained on well. Who does? That is really cool. Her dress matches her hair. And I didn't do that either. Riley. Oh, okay, yeah, she's married to Bruno, the, um, the food vendor guy at the market. Um, let's see, her phone's going up a tiny little bit. She doesn't love fishing. Ah, uh, normally I'd say yes, but we do have an agenda today, so not gonna hang out with Michelle today. She's really nice, though. I'm, I did play a little bit in between filming and, um, and we really hit it off, but um, I was having, that was when I was having issues with sentiments kind of um, stacking, the effects of sentiments stacking with meaningful stories, so I had to, I had to scrap a lot of that, because it was just, it was driving me up the wall, and also I couldn't get the Sims to just sit down and drink their coffee. They were out on like a coffee date or hangout type thing, not sure yet. Not sure what the vibe was exactly, but anyhow, she really liked Michelle. So we'll probably get to hang out again with her soon. Um, she's not catching any fish, so make sure that's no. As I said that, of course, she caught a little perch. It's not worth very much, so let's have her search for frogs. All those poor people just doggedly playing chess in the rain. Um, frogs are slippery. Well, yes. Oh, she can keep looking, though. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, a hypno frog. Aren't those eh, moderate? I was going to say, I thought that was one of the expensive ones. I just want to get a breeding pair, it doesn't really matter what they are. But of course it would be nice if... Yeah, it's not bad. And then... Yeah! Check it out. Okay, sweet. So we won't sell any of those yet, because I would love to just breed whirly, whirly flower frogs. And that would be like... Really good... Uh, just everyday money. I mean, really good for starting out, anyhow. Um, let's have her run over to the bathroom real quick, because she does need to use the toilet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then she's hungry. There's not a ton to eat here. It'd be nice if... Yeah, it'd be great if we had... Um... No. No kitchen. I mean, just a bar. I guess she could eat, like, the olives. Um, but, yeah, it'd be great if we had some of those vending machines, which are in the new pack, which... Oh my gosh, can I go on the record of saying I really, really wish I could buy Snowy Escape. I just can't afford it right now. One of these days. Soon. Maybe maybe I'll buy it for myself for Christmas or something. But it is beautiful. I cannot tear myself away from other people's videos about it. So that's something to look forward to. But for now, uh, no vending machines and she does need to get some food from somewhere. Um, she also needs fun, which... Yeah, I think park in the cold rain is kind of not a good option for fun. But okay, let's let's just have her quickly grab some of these. Sorry, I don't mean to like give everybody um vertigo dragging this around, but let's just grab some of these rocks real quick and then we can go someplace that's a little bit more inviting. Yeah, she should get through her um, aspiration level reasonably fast here. Okay, I think that's all of them for the moment. Let's have her come back and look for frogs one more time. Um, okay, I'm just gonna follow her. She finishes that up. Oh uh, yeah, she's really unhappy with me right now. Um, sounds like one of the festivals is on. What do we have? Oh, Space Festival. Um, I don't know what her spice tolerance is like, but why don't we go and, um, and see what they're selling as far as produce. Do you actually win anything for... I don't think you do. I think you just win, like, glory. Um, so we'll go for it. Why not? So technically she shouldn't be eating this hamburger if she's going to, uh, go eat spicy curry, but that's all right. Um, let's just open these. I guess I could, that helps. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now, how's she? still missing one of her three fossils. She did get two uh, crystals, though. So that's a decent start. But yeah, she's still not having fun. Okay, put the burger down. We will go get something that wasn't cooked by a very uncomfortable man in a stinky shirt. Oh, hey, Kango. She is so desperately in need of fun that she's, like, hallucinating owning a computer. So, um, let's see what we can do to bring that up real quick. Oh, it's the first dog I've seen. Oh, it's a little, it looks like an Airedale. Or something. <laughs> kind of cute. Kind of, uh... Kind of odd, honestly. Let's meet the puppy. As you know, they're all puppies. Oh! He's kind of skinny. Maybe he's supposed to be like that? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. I don't think I've been to this Spice Festival in a while. Uh, so she's still a little bit hungry, but not starving. Mostly what I want to find out is if there's any games. Some folks she knows are here. Yeah, she met Maki and um, actually hit it off pretty well with her when she was talking to her about No Sim Left Behind. Um, Santiago. Houston. He's everywhere. Kango, I don't know how you move so fast. I swear. We were just... It's fine. Uh, Kaylee and... 
palette. It is funny. I'm wondering if I need to I might download some additional folks from the gallery because we are definitely seeing a lot of the same sims, which I know, I mean, I know that's a thing that happens, but some new blood would be fun to have. Um, okay, so there's not really any games at Spice Festival. It's just, ooh, good food. And some music. Well, she can attempt the spicy curry challenge. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think we tried to meet Gabriel the other day, but she didn't actually succeed in getting him over to her. Um, oh, he's flirty. Hmm. Interesting. He's not a bad looking sim is he despite his obvious allergy to full-length pants so he oh he's one of the mailmen he's pretty cute i kind of like the beard let's see if we can uh, sit down and see how he's doing let's abandon the curry challenge for now Yeah, so I don't know if it's because she's outgoing, but it seems like unless something weird happens, she really does hit it off with everybody. And of course, she does have a reputation that's tending. Yeah, it's actually pretty high now. So that certainly helps. But um, it's just funny that she seems to be able to make friends this easily. Oh wow, you're so fun to be around, I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean maybe, it's been like four and a half minutes so I, I really couldn't say but I mean it's a good start. Okay, so we're just chatting about fishing with Neelay. But everybody, wait, okay, Gabriel's coming back. Where's she going? <laughs> oh, okay, something did grow then. And she's just spontaneously going to try to pick it? What is that? Oh, okay, so she got a cow plant berry. But I kind of don't... Let's hang on to it. I mean, yes, it's worth some good money, but let's hang on to it because you never know when you might need a cow plant. Um, let's go ahead and throw these away while she's here. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like it's a good thing to um, have around for an emergency. Um, okay, so she's still, you know, she met some cute sims but that didn't actually bring up her fun i i do kind of wish you know so if they have a sentiment that indicates that you're having fun it'd be nice if that actually brought up her fun a little bit especially as an outgoing sim i could see you know a introvert that would be the opposite but um i don't know i think i think these so these are all randomly generated sims, like I said. Um, I deleted all the regular townies. Ooh, she is not having a good night. Sorry, precious. Um, but I think they turned out pretty cute. Mostly not weird. Some exceptions, but... Oh, they're sigh. Um, <laughs> she's going to try to impress him with some of her, like, super brand new knowledge about uh, art and painting. Yeah, a lot of folks in a good mood, so she, he is... Oh! Oh shoot! What did she say wrong? Was that her? It must have been with somebody else. He had a, a heart, like, show up, like... 
something bad happened, but I don't, I didn't see their relationship go down. Hey, Javon. Yeah, they're doing fine. Let's get to know them a little bit and see. See how that goes. Okay, so he's an insider. Oh, we do know. Okay, so he's self-assured insider snob. Whew, I don't know if that is her type. Made it through the spiciest of spicy food. She's a curry champion and... Okay, you do win. You win a t-shirt. But like I was saying, I don't know if that type of... Um, I mean, confidence is attractive, but I don't know if that's her type of person. Hmm. We'll have to see. I do like seeing where, um, where Sims are going. Okay, so her fun's going up a tiny bit. Maybe, okay, maybe socializing does increase her fun need. Oh yeah, okay. High quality fun. I'm feeling close with someone nearby. Um... Those are cool. Okay. Yeah, I really, I really think I like this new system a lot. I mean, yeah, there are some kinks, but, but like, this is great. Like, this is, this feels like much more organic. And the fact that it's mostly happening without a mod. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Um, Kingo, you have to actually play the music in order to get tips. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm salty. Because he kept taking our potatoes. I will get over it one of these days. Okay, the festival is going to end in an hour. I'm going to take a peek. What did we get? Oh, okay, yeah, the, um... Hmm, who's this? Oh, it's Jax. We know him. And Santiago thinks we suck at singing, which is fine, because we do. Um, why are you uncomfortable? They're both uncomfortable. Did they both eat curry and now hate their lives? I don't know why you would. I freaking love curry. Okay, her needs are kind of, I mean, other than hunger and social, which this festival is really keeping topped up. Oh yeah, she's on her way to being filthy, but she is super excited. Oh wait, around a sim she adores. That's a little bit of a strong word. We don't have anybody that I would describe her as adoring. I mean, maybe, maybe it's talking about a strong friendship, which, I mean, Kengo technically is our strongest friendship other than Clement. Okay. Yeah. Some of these are a little weird. Oh my gosh, he just aged up. Aw, happy birthday. Can she? She can't congratulate him, can she? That's really funny. Okay, so Santiago actually likes her now just feel like I feel like you just get me well okay does that mean you'll sing a duet with us now let's talk about our dreams with Neelay oh my gosh he seems to dislike this one particular child <laughs> let's find out why well I w it's not gonna tell us why but um <laughs> That's very random. He's probably not going to like this. If you have low relationship with somebody, it seems to... Oh, no, okay. So she was able to get away with it. Probably because of her high charisma. So he's going to mend his relationship with the kid. Which is good for you. That's growth. Um, let's brag. Oh, it oh, looks like the uh, festival's shutting down. 
So we'll just really quickly... Oh no, I think their table's going to go away, isn't it? Oh, yep, their table disappeared. Okay, alright, yeah, she's pretty... Pretty needy, so she's going to head on home. But she had a great time, and we did get a little bit of money uh, from selling collectibles. Let's see if she can breed these frogs again. We have Hypno and Sunflower. Let's breed Whirlyflower with Sunflower. And see what, yes, okay, now we have two whirly flowers, so we can sell these two. Ah, uh, because the whirly flowers will create more whirly flowers for us. Ah, uh, wow, she's miserable. Let's, she has a toilet now, right? Right? Yes, she does. A toilet of her own. And still... See, I feel like after, you know, after a really cool festival like that, then her fun should be full. Just as a matter, of course. But, oh well. It's fine. The game wouldn't be as fun if it weren't a little quirky. Yeah, she's about to pass out, too. Hopefully she can get through the toilet before that happens. Okay, she did. We're going to fast forward. And she was able to... Uh, promote her cause. So I'm going to have her go ahead to work on her own. And it, as long as she's on time, she should um, she should be able to be promoted today, which will be great. Have her get clean. I don't think she has enough time. No, she doesn't have enough time to get her fun up. So she's going to be really tense, but I don't think I have to have her work hard in order to do well today. Hopefully that Evolve uh, sticks around. I know if you wait too long, it, um, it'll it go away because the uh, quality will de decrease. All right, so she is off to work. Gabriel sending us texts. Kaylee Royal died. Is that the, I think that's the llama lady, uh, the one who is really mad at us for, um, for preferring llamas to people. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed. Yes. Oh, she worked at the hamburger restaurant and she loved llamas. Rest in power, Kaylee. Um, we will have to find some way to honor her at some point because she you know she was right we would we should consider the llamas ah uh, let's see county operator the petty criminals in county lockup need a public defender uh but funding is short and naomi is running out of ways to convince public defenders to help desperate times call for desperate measures desperate measures to to be precise okay we're not going to bribe the lawyer Let's stall the proceedings. Neither of these is a good choice, but at least one of them isn't going to bring us up on ethics charges. Naomi begins loudly singing the chant of the local sports team. The judge, a no-nonsense a no -nonsense arbitrator, has Naomi put in jail for public annoyance in the legal proceeding. Proceeds as planned. Oh, no. Um... Well, that's not quite the way I envisioned her being arrested for her work, but um, yeah, I'd say she probably is pretty stressed. That's interesting. It doesn't have a uh, thrown in jail for pissing off a judge moodlet, but I guess it's a little specific for The Sims. Um, Okie doke. Guess they'll let her out. Probably. Hey, she got promoted anyhow. Oh, cool. So, um, Nile was able to smooth things over with the random child. Okay, so she's a community organizer now. She's got a nice bonus. She makes a ridiculous amount per... I mean, for... Uh, I guess that's reasonable. I don't know. I mean, that's... That's quite a lot of money. Um, I'm not going to argue, though. And uh, she can now give an expert speech, which that's kind of cool. So maybe we'll uh, have her work on her debate skill. She's still 
only level five, almost level six in charisma. And she's a step ahead of each of these um, promotion tasks, which is great. She is absolutely exhausted. And for some reason, she's come home wearing her, it's like a summer outfit, basically. So let's have her run back here real quick and get in bed where she can be warm and comfortable. Well, that's cool. So she got promoted and, oh no, she passed out. Oh, Naomi. Okay. She's fine. Uh, she probably won't get promoted tomorrow, but uh, all we have to do is promote one cause. So, Sai is inviting us over to his house. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and go. Why not? Never been over to his house. He lives in Daisy Hovel, which I'm assuming... He lives with his brother, but not necessarily. I don't even know where Daisy Hevel is. Mm, good, she put some warm clothes on. He, on the other hand, is not dressed for the weather. Um, okay, so we're in... This is Willow Creek, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay, obviously. Oh, that was funny. Um... Yeah, I always like this street. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like Nile is home. So it's got like romance interactions because we're good friends with him, but we are not actually romantically. Wait, what the heck is that? She developed an adoring sentiment toward him. I mean, like, he's pretty adorable, but like, that came out of nowhere. He just wants the best for Sai. Mm, okay. Interesting. She thinks he's something special somehow. I mean, we didn't do any romantic interactions with him at all. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, let's brighten this day. He seems to be in a good mood. Um, let's check and see if he's... Oh, she didn't like his joke. Um, that wasn't too bad. Let's check and see if he's single. He is. Well, I mean, this could work. I mean, like I said, I don't mind letting them choose for themselves. We're good friends. And apparently she has decided to adore him. Interesting. I'm going to take a quick screenshot. Because that is, uh, yeah. It's just her normal face, but it does seem like she likes this one. Okie doke. Uh, let's head on in and see if he... Hopefully he doesn't think she's being rude if she uses his bathroom. Because she really is going to have to go shortly. Um, all they have to do... They don't really have much hanging out, but let's watch current channel. She's hungry, but I don't think we should have her try to make any food. That always... Aw, bros. That always does make them upset, unless you're... Um, unless you have keys. So let's watch a little television. Let's say, okay, we're watching... Um, maybe there's a political debate on. We have... I don't know if we talked about politics with Sai yet. Oh, she can't watch because there's not enough chairs. Or is it off? Let's see if we can turn it back on. <laughs> Neely's like, so, um, are you interested in this girl? Or? <laughs> They're kind of adorable. I have to say, I can see what she sees inside. And, you know, I feel that way about Neely, frankly. He's just a lot and it's wonderful. <laughs> Naomi is watching television over their shoulder. That's, you know, I wish I wish they had a little bit more seating. Oh, they do have a bookcase. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming over and hanging out with us. Um, let's tell a dramatic story. I 
throw a compliment at him and see what happens. I mean, I'm wondering, obviously she feels a way about him. What does he think about her? Should we maybe compliment his appearance and see what, um, if anything results? They're all still kind of watching the cooking channel, which... Oh, he seemed to like it. Okay. <gasps> now, uh, yeah, they got this thing where they keep hopping up and down from, from tables where they're eating. Let's just, let's deflect, have her tell an unbelievable story. And, um, let's compliment his outfit, although that's not, you know, as far as his outfits go, that's kind of basic. Let's, let's slip a flirt in there and see what he does. <gasps> okay, so they've, that seems like a mutual, a mutual feeling growing closer. And he definitely liked that flirt. But he's not, not showing any romance bar yet. She's going to go for it. She is confident. She's feeling protective because she kind of adores him already. And, uh, oh heck, that went over really well. All right. I love it. All right. I love it. Okay, so she's going to give him her number. He's very flirty. She's super into him. And um, hopefully this will, this will work out. And then, you know, she's going to head on home because she's exhausted. Yes. Okay, that went really well. I think we have something here. <laughs> Look at her. She is so thrilled. Um, she's going to boast about her, f boast about family to his brother. Um, babe, you're laying a on a little bit thick, I have to say. Let's look at my save game. Recognize that this was a moment that we needed to preserve. So, mm, okay. I'm actually going to wrap it up here for tonight. That went so much better than I expected. She's exhausted and starving, but she has her first love interest, and who knows where this might go. Please like and subscribe, and join me next time for episode 5. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>